Hey girls and boys, um, I thought I'd come up here and um, show you one thing because one of you requested um, a couple of weeks ago for me to do a short tutorial about um, how I do my little bowls. Um, obviously, I do use 3D gels for uh, most of my designs. But when I saw those little molds, I thought those look cute. And one of you really liked them and asked me um, how I did them, how I make them. Um, so it is very easy. Basically, I've got those little molds. Um, I thought I'm just gonna hop in and show you how to do it step by step. It's probably self-explanatory for most of you. Um, but for those who have not used them before, it might be useful. Okay, so I would usually start with a top coat. This time I'm using a um, matte top coat. So I would basically fill it in. Obviously, you have to make sure that you get into all of those little shapes because otherwise you're gonna get holes and it won't look nice okay i chose matte um top coat because i want it to look matte basically I'm just gonna get rid of the excess okay okay as you can see that one is matte compared to those so that's because it's nice and cute and now let's choose a color I'm gonna go for sort of pinkish and again, the same principle. We need to make sure that we get everywhere. Don't worry if it gets a bit messy because we're gonna just wipe it clean. Okay. And if you're gonna go for only one coat of color make sure that everything is nice and even because that's that's gonna show i might actually go for two coats because i can see that it's still a bit see-through but i'm just not gonna be boring you to death showing you the second coat so I'm just going to cut that part out of the video. Okay, so that's two coats cured. So now you have a choice. If you used a lot of color gel and it's almost leveled, you can just fill it in with top coat um, um but i still have a bit of space here so what i would do i will fill it up with builder gel it's good to use a bit runny one but mine is quite thick so i'm gonna have to wait for it to calm down and level okay I would 
do is beat the crap out of it <laughs> just to make sure it goes down and goes into all of those little shapes Now, if you're happy with it, that it's all filled up to the edge of it, um, you can either wipe it with um, <sighs> gel removal solution or um, nail polish remover, so just to get rid of that sticky layer. Um, what I would usually do, I would use a top curl so it's not sticky it's nicely covered there you have it you can easily get it out now um see there are some when you look at it there are some bits from a top coat so what i would do i would use a file and just file it down so we're getting rid of those bits that we don't want it. there you have two nice little cute balls so i can show you what i would do with them to make them look a bit nicer but that depends on um our design but you know i like to play with it a bit later so i will just use white art gel and just maybe if you could see let me just move that around see what happened with my brush stupid me um put when i was as i was cleaning brushes i put that in acetone Obviously, acetone was a bit too deep. And that was a surprise. But actually, it's a good angle brush right now. So, all good. <laughs> so, I will just add a bit of white border. Just to make it look a bit cuter. I can do some dots. That was not sticking. struggles for women with long nails <sighs> most of you know what I'm talking about but what the hell at least our nails look nice right already okay I'll put that in the lamp for a bit and I'm gonna use my oh of course as I've got my matte top coat on it already so I'm gonna um file it down a bit while well, buffer it Use my mm -hmm. 
Und schon mal Puff. Blink. Gel Glue. Of course, you can use the Builder Gel. Whatever you want. Whatever works for you. It's nice and secure, nothing is moving. Um, what I would do, I would of course use a top coat all around it to make sure it's nice and secure, but I'm not gonna do it now. So I just wanted to show you, okay? Look how cute. Okay. I hope you liked it. Let me know. Bye.